into a daddy I've been told about. Yeah. Um, what I'm gonna do, I only got Digit Minty with me. I might be able to see it from the top of the hill, so I'll give it a crack and if I can, I'll just watch it and see if any pigs come in. If not, then yeah, I guess I'll just walk in and see what happens. Anyway, see how we go. Sound like dingoes not beyond it. Don't know if you've seen that, but hopefully you did. That'd be pretty cool. Bit of footage, hopefully you can see the dingoes and that there. It's a bit hard to get on camera seeing through the bush, but yeah, they were just happily feeding there. I think there was three of them, maybe four. You know, two or three standard sort of cream ones and one jet black one, so yeah, worth having a look. There's properties that aren't, but what about to shoot them on, but this one luckily sort of just his land I guess and he doesn't actually run any cattle on it properly. Might be the odd scrubber on here, that's about it, so yeah no that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, cool to not be under pressure to get rid of them either, I can stop in and have a bit of a look and the next day we headed out to a wonky hole fishing and I couldn't bloody believe it. When first drop and Stu's hooked straight up. Let it let it run because wonkies, they don't have much they can get you on. Right, eh? Usually, right, touch wood. Yeah. But, yeah, so if you're not too sure you braid. Yeah. It's a good fish. Not too bad. That's what I thought it was the bottom. It was just fucking... That might be a nanny, eh? Fucking full and fucking pretty steady. A nanny or a cod, maybe? Awesome. <laughs> Good work. So, uh, got my GoPro going, but we've just taken Stu out this morning and we've pulled up on a wonky hole. And yeah. Did not take long to get on. No, <laughs> dropped it down and pulled the line and it was tight. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, thought I was snagged there. Snags, but I it don't takes a, a head kick. It takes a bit for him to wear out, but that big kick's pretty good. Yeah. Them hooks aren't super heavy duty either, so. Well, I'll not to bully it too much. Yeah. You can take friggin' 15 minutes if you need to. 
Yeah, he's tiring out though. Awesome. Oh, that was worth the, <laughs> the move. I reckon. Crikey. This thing is putting it to me. Like I said, best thing about a wonky is there's not much down there besides the hole, and they don't really. Sometimes cod will go in the hole, but generally, other fish won't go into it. You're getting some line. Getting some line now. Good work. I'm sure it'll uh, see the surface and give me another bit of what for. Yeah. I don't see Come any on. colour yet though. It's taking a bit off me. Taking more than off me. Grab these just in case. Okay. So I've got a fucking bit of a look at the surface there. And I uh, wasn't impressed. Just so dropped a couple of made. different vibes down i got the nomad vibe and he's got a little bloody i shouldn't say this because it's going to ruin any chance of a future sponsorship by anybody but a little cheapy on and it goes to show money isn't everything oh it is a nanny look at that oh yes it's a lovely looking fish you beauty yeah. what a thumper stew that yeah, is a beauty that is a fish to be well done. very happy with. Um, that's at 100 pound, eh? Yeah. Don't thrash all that in. Oh! He's landed, you! What a f***ing cracker! Excuse <laughs> the language, my boy. Oh, what an absolute beauty. What a ripper. Oh, oh man, up. that's got some weight to it, eh? You! What a beauty! Awesome! Awesome! Cracker. Just filmed it coming up, so I'll just get the water off there. So yeah, <laughs> how good is that? Oh. Literally, as soon as it hit the bottom, bang on! Excellent! Bloody hell! <laughs> I'm glad I still know how to tie a knot. <laughs> Where's that little buddy? I think it's an infish. I'm not sure. Infish. Oh, yeah. yeah. Guy called Cheapo, buddy vibe like bloody 100 of them for 200 bucks or something ridiculous did That's the like, job though did the job did it well too after that we shot out to a wreck and had a bit of fun with a few trevally as well a wreck here for a bit of a <laughs> trevally session what's this one oh is it a mackie it's a mackie Woo! oh come on don't bite through it please don't bite through it oh mackie you little oh Spewing. Little school mackerel too. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get him. Bastard. Up you come, Trev. It's not golden, is it? It is too. Oh, is it? Oh, no. GT. Uh, bludger. Is it a bludger? Okay. Yeah. I'm not fing super great. You're right. I reckon dog tucker or fucking. Yeah. Dog tucker or if you want fish for like. Fish cakes and shit. They're not. Yeah real bad like yeah, okay. at that size yeah fish cakes or curry or whatever yep <laughs> what is going on here i think i'm snagged on my own jig oh, tangled i think oh no that's what's going on <laughs> <laughs> Absolute monster. Mate, you got the fucking ruler, mate? The fucking close. You know what they call these things? What is that? A few people, trout lollies. <laughs> I'm serious, they freaking the <laughs> trout love them, eh? Yeah, right. Look, they've been eating old mates, pillies. Oh, f hell. Oh. And chicken, is it a chicken bone? <laughs> it's a f***ing chicken bone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh holy shit. <laughs> No idea. <laughs> oh. A bit of line edge snappage. Yes. I reckon it's a trolley. Forever, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Shit, I don't mind too much. At least it's some fun. Yeah, that's it, eh? It's all good to get stuff to eat, but it's pretty fun just catching trevally. At least they release well as well if you yeah. don't want to keep them. 
Must be getting close. <laughs> yeah, oh, here's the leader. Trevally. Trevally. You're guilty. What flavour? Oh, different variety of what they call bludger. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like a gigantic scud. Watch out. Yep. Oh, yeah. Cool. See what I mean? Much like a very big scud. Yeah. <laughs> After giving the stew a bit of a look around the reef, we headed in and then. Not long after, a couple of days later, I headed out to a rainforest block to try my hand and try and give the dogs a run on a pig. I'd literally been walking for about four hours when out of the blue digit was out having a look around about 6 to 70 metres away and must have disturbed this boar. I didn't have the GoPro ready and he just came out of nowhere and luckily for me I had Ali and Minnie with me so they were straight on him. <laughs> This bloke was in absolutely terrible condition and I think rather than dying of starvation I've probably done him a favour putting him out of his misery. Walking along and Digit's just going great, but I don't have the the normal team of dogs, see? Normally I set of Ali, who's my old bitch, and she still sort of goes right, but I don't know, she's slowly going deaf. When I was younger, I didn't know any better, and I was using fire caliber guns with bloody the dogs around, and yeah, well, higher caliber, higher velocity, I should say. And um, yeah, I have sort of slowly sent her deaf by accident, um, well not really slowly, she was fine for years and then just like that, so she is white as well, so I don't know if it is all just because of that, but you know, I sort of take it on myself that it's my fault, I guess these things happen and I definitely learnt from my mistakes, hence running the subsonics now, but um, yeah, so about the normal team, the dogs just haven't really been working as they should, um, yeah, you mix the dogs up and they just seem to work different to normal, like, I mean, Ali can't hear a bail. Yeah, anyway, good set of teeth on him. That's all there is for this week, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments and any changes or um, different things you'd like to see. And uh, I'll try to get back to everybody. Cheers.